take those cookies? They're like just Walmart ones. We don't tell anybody they're just Walmart ones. I like the plate you selected as well. <laughs> I'm gonna have one of these. Mmm. Yes. the vlog it is Sonya here at home base happy Saturday to you it is a beautiful rainy yes I can use beautiful and rainy all together in one sentence because I love a good dark rainy day so I'm really excited today because we're gonna get those number one we're gonna get those and there's two things okay two really really exciting things number one yesterday in the vlog we flipped those brownie frowny tables that I found at a public auction to be my style, we did a beautiful shabby chic vintage white color onto them. And today we're excited because they're finished and we can move them into my living room. Can't wait to see how it just really lightens up the space in there. And it's gonna feel to me like it's like brand new furniture. Number two, we have got a special guest in the house. My sister arrived and her husband from back home in Canada, Atlantic Canada, and they arrived in Pittsburgh yesterday. We picked them up this morning. We just got here at the house, and we are ready for a good time. This evening, we got lots of snacks. We already hit the snacks already today. Do you wanna see what I got? I went to Aldi's. Anybody else shop there? So we are hosting just a fun get together tonight, and I'm so excited that they are here for it. What's really special is tomorrow's, is me and Matt's wedding anniversary, so it's so nice for my sister and my brother-in-law to be in town. So here's what I got at Aldi's. And by the way, somebody wants to say hello. Hello, how are ya? Tiki and Oreo. Is Tiki smiling? Tiki, Tiki, get a smile. All right, so here's what I got at Aldi's today. Here's my quick Aldi haul. I have not tried these before, but it showed coffee and one of these dunkers. And so chocolate chip dunkers, all right? We are going all out this weekend and splurging and enjoying time with family and goodies. All right, pretzels. I love honey wheat pretzels. Has anybody tried these before? I think it takes it up a notch from the regular pretzel. I'm just saying. Then we got the classic salsa, salsa con queso. Did I say that right? Did I say that right? So got this as well, and we got some dipper chips back here. I have been loving on the white cheddar cheese popcorn, so I got a bunch of those. Matt picked up these, I'm like, seriously, who is going to eat these? Are you going to eat these? This is all the rage right now, especially if you're here watching on uh, YouTube, you'll see a lot of challenges go down with the hot ghost pepper chips. There's a whole bunch of these different levels of burning fire. Yeah, burning fire in my mouth. No, thank you. Got some crackers. I got some pizzelles in dark chocolate. Doesn't that look good? I'm showing you guys all the snacks first. And then uh, Matt picked up some baguettes. We love, we love like cheese spreads, meat spreads. And these are a couple of my favorite meats that I always get as well when we pick up groceries. Black Forest Speck, this is so yummy. Handcrafted ham, mm -mm -mm. so good. And then I love this one as well. This is always a nice selection. It's got a bunch of different meats in there. Love it. You might hear the dogs barking in the background because Riley is about to take them on a walk. Look what mom picked up. Although I don't know if you're gonna like the pumpkin spice one but I definitely, he's giving me eyeballs. But this one you'll definitely like. This is just a regular red grape. I love these sparkling non-alcoholic drinks. They're awesome. But this one was here for a seasonal thing. So I've never had pumpkin spice cider. Is that what it's called? A blend of grape and apple. So we're gonna give those a try as well. Riley's over there wrestling the gremlins to get them in their harnesses. And yeah, so honestly, everything is ready to go. I'm keeping it pretty low key tonight. And I am, I, I say this with love, because I love Little Caesars. Little Caesars is um, catering the event tonight, AKA $5 pizzas. So we're gonna go all out with the crazy bread and the pizzas tonight and our bunch of stuff and whatever else anybody else brings. I think my neighbor is gonna make a cheese board, cheese meat board, so it's gonna be good. Oh, do you wanna see this shirt that I'm gonna wear tonight? This is it. And I paid five dollars for it. So if you are in need, or you just like this shirt, but if you're in need for an event shirt this week or this weekend, I'm gonna tell you, run out to your local Michaels. I got this one in medium. They had a bunch more of that size there. But it was regularly ten dollars and they're all half price and they're kind of up by the register on a hanger. So I thought it'd be really cute to wear this with my jeans tonight. And I'll probably like, you know, tie it to the side just like that and kind of style it from there. All right, let's head to the garage so we can get out the lovely furniture that we have been working on and move it into the living room space. I have been waiting for this day. My sister is going to town. 
Amazon, we hit Walmart. Look what we found, guys. It's really cool. I think it was like $3. Good to use. Wipe a bowl. Actually, Anna, it looks really good, too, with my uh, little hutch up there, my shiny cabinet. Really cool. Or, or look. Are you excited for tonight? I am so excited. So happy to be here. So we got two games. Mm -hmm. We're going to play, what do we get? We end up getting Pictionary. Pictionary? Yeah. yeah. It's this really cool one where you can um, air draw. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to teach me how to play Skippo, right? Yeah. Nobody else wants to play like you and I can play, right? That sounds good. All right. So, guys, uh, she's going to help me set up for tonight for all of our guests that are coming. we got a bunch of good stuff, and I'm going to go finish setting up in the living room. All right, guys. Welcome to the living room and the two pieces. Do you see them right here? Already I'm seeing the white in my gray pillows pop and my plaid pop. It just feels it's picking up on the white and the, uh, and the teal you know, rug down below me. And the fact that we have circle, circle, and my ottoman is a circle, and my pillows are swirly, I think it's all a good thing. Let me open the curtains a little bit more, and let's go ahead and put some decorations on these tables. So I ended up distressing my table set. Silly of me to think that I would not distress them because you guys know I'm a shabby loving kind of girl, right? So I added some distress marks into it. Just really felt like it warmed it up down to that nice dark wood that was there. And me and my sister just got back from Walmart picking up a few things, like I said, for the few supplies for our gathering tonight. And I got this decorative table runner and it's just a natural, it's called natural jute. So it's just like a burlap. So I'm going to put this over the top of it. What do you guys think of this idea here? This was $12 and this I think was a placemat for $2 and change. I think that's all it was, but I just need one because I wanted something that would match this, the natural feel to kind of like really make the room cozy. And I'm going to put the small one over here and the runner across here and then we'll do some decorations. Do you see Stanley? He's right here off camera getting ready to be like, what are you doing? What's going down? Stanley was taking a nap earlier over there on the chair. Ooh, I like how long this is. I do like how long this is. Hello. Hey, we're going on camera here. I saw that. Hello to everybody. I'm going to put in a light everyone. so we can actually see what we're doing over here. That might be a little bit better so we can actually see. All right, guys, that's a little bit better. So I could cut this if I wanted to, like I said, but I kind of like even having it hang long. We'll see what I end up doing with that. And then this is a tray that I picked up at home and I paid, I was gonna say right around $12 for it. I still have my tag on it. So excited just to get it in place. If you guys are able to find these trays on your travels, this one looks like just a natural light wood. These are awesome. You can use them, obviously, if you're sitting in bed and you're having your munchies and hanging out and watching your best show, living your best life, but use them as well for cool staging pieces. So we got just a tray right there, and now we've got to go ahead and put some, some decorations in place. Hmm. So we need to go steal some AA batteries from Riley for this piece that I talked about yesterday, but it has a little try me button on it, so it just lights up really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him get me some batteries so we can keep this going. This is cute. Little lights always make a place feel special. Let's start with that and let's put our little, little one over here. So you guys might remember clearance shopping with me at Gabriel Brothers that we scored these two different size like globes for three dollars a piece or thereabouts so I think I might use these for real quick just to kind of throw them in here I'm gonna go hunt maybe some little pumpkins in here this little floral arrangement maybe I'll stick it up here gotta pull my tag off I think the best way to put it this was a really cool one single flower would go in here. It's like a one single uh, flower vase and it had a little break right there and I scored this for three dollars. It's pottery. I positively love it and the rust color really goes nice um, with my little pretend foliage. So let's go grab a some scissors and cut that off. This is our big centerpiece of florals. I just threw that right there. I think that looks awesome. Maybe I'm going to need to put a few pumpkins out right there. So I found and looking around, I found this little bowl that we did. I moved this from the dining room, put a, another pumpkin in place of it. Hey, Stanley cat. And I think that looks really good there to fill that out. I think I'm going to do maybe one more pumpkin down here, a couple pumpkins over there. 
By the way, my sister gave me this really cute piece that she brought from Canada. And look where we put it right there on that chicken wire frame. What is that? Party bucket. We've left plenty of room for ice. Fill her up. Cinnamon whiskey. I don't even know what that is. Fireball. You don't know what fireball This scares is. me. No, I've fireball never tried shots. this stuff. Listen, I'm just a Moscato drinker, okay? Still loving this. I think with that little black and white piece you right there, with, with a bow fireball? as well. No, have no idea. Are you a bad influence? Uh, Did you, I just heard what you said. <laughs> you know what? I might just do that. Two cream pumpkins right there. Kind of like that. And maybe we'll put a third little pumpkin up there, just like that. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, I just had a brilliant idea, I think. Remember I showed you here on the vlog this past week that at my Pier One haul, I got these super cute little, um, little fairy lights, little soft twinkly lights. I put batteries in them and I think I'm gonna set them up, maybe put them over the top of that hutch back there, just to give a little something something to that corner. Nothing says a little gathering and celebration like some twinkly lights. And I think Matt might light the fireplace tonight for the very first time here in our new old home. So that's pretty exciting. Guys, that other pumpkin that I got at Walmart, I put out here in the hallway. So if you can see it right there, it's kind of hiding that Cinderella. You guys told me it was a Cinderella pumpkin. So it's nice. So I love how this is looking, guys. If you've been following me on the vlog as well, you know that we've been staining. We stained the library, the hallway, all the way out here. And I haven't stained my living room just yet. That's a whole other project in itself, but we will get to that. And I'll show you that in just a second. This is something I'm interested in trying tonight. We found it's Pictionary Air, draw it in the air. Like draw it in the air and somehow it magically appears on your television. So I'm gonna give this a try. I will let you know tomorrow on the vlog if this works really cool. And maybe I'll take a video tonight so you guys can see it in action. All right guys, so back into the living room we go. And I am so happy because those two tables made such a difference. I did put the lights up back here. Did you guys see that? I put those little lights that we got for $10 at Pier 1 over here just to kind of light up this corner a little bit. I really feel that it just feels, it takes on a different look in here. It feels so cozy. I'm glad I went with the white. Sometimes, you know what? You just want to paint wood. I'm sorry, but sometimes you do. And at the end of the day, you should do whatever makes you happy. Who cares if somebody's going to say, oh my God you're not going to paint that are you in this case these were beautiful pieces great bones had you saw it it had bubbling veneer nobody wanted to take them home from the auction but i'm glad i did i also put my little twinkle lights in here get my battery so that way this little thingamabob works this was like the best six dollars i ever spent i swear so what do you guys think of my little centerpiece right here just kind of throwing it together and here comes stanley <laughs> stanley you're gonna play a game with us tonight all in all, I am calling this space like pretty well done. There's always gonna be things that I'm gonna wanna add to it. We gotta get stuff up on the wall. So there's always room for progress. I once heard a, um, a trivia question and it said, what is, the biggest, what is the biggest room in the world? Room for improvement. So progress over perfection and I'm just having a ball working on all the spaces of this big old home. Thanks guys for watching another vlog. Be sure to come back again tomorrow. I'll share some footage from tonight as well yeah, in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you for subscribing, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. What do you guys think of the white and do you feel like it does make a difference in this space? I love it. See you tomorrow. Bye. The party is just getting started.